Good morning and welcome to our Chinese New Year celebrations, or they could also be called the Spring Festival celebrations or the Lunar New Year. You've probably been learning about them with your teachers. And this book that I'm going to read to you here tells us a little bit more about the festival and what people might do. Let's have a look. Chinese New Year. It's got a contents page here, so I'm just going to make my fruit. Happy New Year. Gung Hei Fat Choi is one way of saying Happy New Year, or you may say Xin Lin Kuai La, Happy New Year. Both of those mean Happy New Year in Chinese. And this here, this plum blossom, is a symbol for hope. The Chinese New Year starts at the end of winter, in late January or early February. That's when new plants begin to appear in the garden and leaves are getting ready to open on the trees. Farmers all over China plough the earth ready to sow their new crops. And I don't know about you, but I've also started to see some new flowers springing up, maybe some snowdrops or the starts of daffodils. So it's very similar here. Getting ready for the party. I love a party, do you? Chinese New Year celebrations can last up to 15 days, but there's a lot to do before people can start enjoying themselves. New Year is the perfect time to have a haircut. We would usually have a haircut at New Year, although we didn't this year, being at home. Houses are clean from top to bottom. People decorate their homes with fruit and beautiful flowers. They also have their haircuts and buy new clothes. Did you know that everyone prays to the kitchen god? He will tell the Jade Emperor how good the family have been. And Jane is a very lucky stone. I've actually got a bit of Jade here, if you can see. Oranges are bought for good luck. They think they make you rich. And you know, that's funny too, because in our stockings, when Father Christmas comes, he also leaves some satsumas in our stockings. Does he do that for you? It happens in the Chinese New Year festivals too. Good luck, everyone. People write short poems on red banners trimmed with gold. They hang the bangers around the house to bring blessings and good luck. Shops sell banners with poems and messages for good wishes for the new year. We would love to see if you make any of your own banners today. If you do, make sure that to send them in to our social media pages or to Linda. You've got her email address where you can send them to. We would love to see all your creativity. Some families hang pictures of the door gods outside the front door. They believe the gods will guard the house against ghosts and bad luck. Sometimes incense is burnt to remember relatives that have died. Goodbye old year. And oh my goodness, this is my favourite dinner. It's dumplings. They have lots of tasty, savoury fillings. I wonder if you've tried those before. The celebrations start on New Year's Eve. All over the world, Chinese people turn on bright lights. Families get together and eat a special dinner. And look at this delicious feast here. In the north of China, people enjoy dumplings. In the south, they eat a delicious rice pudding. What's your favourite food? What would you have for a feast? Where's the monster? Oh my goodness. There's an old story in China about a horrible monster called Nayan. He liked eating people up. To scare Nayan away, the people started banging drums and gongs and burning bamboo sticks. Chinese people make a lot of noise on New Year's Eve to keep the monsters away. All that banging should give the monster a headache. I'm sure there's a few mums and dads with a bit of a headache with all the drums too. It's fun to watch fireworks on New Year's Eve. And we do the same, don't we, at our New Year's Eve celebrations. And we'd often have fireworks at midnight my dog doesn't like the fireworks. He gets very cross when he hears all the bagging, but they're absolutely beautiful to see, aren't they? Lucky packets. Oh, and this is something my children get very excited about if they find a lucky packet at Lunar New Year. On New Year's Day, people put on their new clothes. They visit their friends and relatives to wish them a happy new year. Families offer visitors delicious nibbles that bring good luck. The tangerine tree has been decorated with lucky red bows doesn't that look beautiful there? Can you see it? Did you know lucky fruit, seeds and nuts are eaten from a special tray called the tray of togetherness? Isn't that lovely? 
The grown-ups give children red envelopes with lucky symbols on them. Inside there is money. It's the perfect New Year gift. The envelopes are coloured red for good luck. And many Chinese people, or people celebrating Chinese New Year, will wear red over the festival. Don't do it! People are very careful on New Year's Day. No one sweeps the floor in case they brush away all the good luck. Nobody uses scissors in case they snip all the good luck away. Nobody argues or scowls on New Year's Day. Everyone is very careful not to break anything. That would bring bad luck. Did you know on New Year's Day people don't wash their hair in case they flush their good luck down the plug hole? There's lots of traditions, isn't there? I wonder if you can think of any traditions your family maybe do over different holidays. People put on operas to celebrate the New Year. Each area has its own style and story. And you'll find in our celebrations today that you'll be able to watch one of the operas from some of our teachers performing. Make sure to take a look. Dragon Dance Dance. During the New Year festival, many people come up to watch the famous Dragon Dance. And if you were at our festival celebrations last year, you might have seen our one dancing around at Southwest College, if you remember. The longer the dragon, the more luck it will bring. The dragon swoops and sways along the street, and sometimes they're dragons and sometimes they're lions, so the lion dance. Its eyes blink, its ears wiggle, and its mouth trembles. The Chinese believe that dragons are kind and helpful. They bring good luck. The dragon follows a leader who carries a lantern on a long stick. Light your lantern, and this is another thing that we're going to be doing today. So you'll need some card and something to decorate them with, and we can't wait to see them. On the last day of the New Year celebrations, people have a lantern festival. Paper lanterns are hung up everywhere. Children take part in a parade carrying lanterns along the streets. These children here have dressed up in red for the lantern parade. What a wonderful end to the New Year celebrations. Let's do it all again next year. And here it is, the beautiful lanterns glow in the dark. The Chinese calendar. Now, does anyone think, what year is it this year? Because every year is represented by an animal. Can you think? It's the year of the ox this year. And last year was the year of the rat. If you don't know what year you were born in, maybe take a look today and you could maybe design some beautiful pictures. The years of the Chinese calendar are all named after animals. There are 12 animals in all. Have a look for your own birthday to find out what Chinese New Year you were born in. And that is the end of today's story. We'll be reading some more later and we'll actually be reading one about the big race to find out how the animals took their place and how the years are represented by them. I will see you later. Xie Xie for listening. Bye.